Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel and another episode on our ammo stockpiling series. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Today in front of us here we have four different calibers we're going to go ahead and take a look at. We're going to start off with this one right here. So we have uh, three boxes. This is a Winchester Ready Select Grade Ammunition, 45 ACP, 230 grain flat nose ammunition. So this is how the ammunition looks in the box. Brass case, of course. We have 50 rounds per box. We have a total of three boxes for 150 rounds. There's the bullet right there. This bullet has a uh, muzzle velocity of 880 feet per second and a muzzle energy of 395 foot pounds. This ammunition is good ammunition as all Winchester is specifically. Um, great ammunition for you can use it for home defense if you wanted to. Uh, you could also use it for uh, range. Um, pretty much anything you want to do. On the back they also give you some information about the round itself along with the muzzle velocity and the muzzle energy. Alright, next we're going to look at some more 45 ACP. This one is by Wolf though. Well, at least we know they pack the ammunition good. So what we have here is we have some Wolf 45 ACP steel case, of course. This is again a 230 grain, but this is a full metal jacket. The ammunition, the way it looks when it comes in the case. We can go ahead and take one of these out here for you guys. Of course, you can see the steel case. Uh, this is uh, 850 feet per second, so a little bit slower than the Winchester, uh, but we have 396 foot-pounds, so a tad bit more foot-pounds in Winchester, but um, there is definitely, let's see, yeah, we went from 880 feet per second to uh, 850 feet per second, so there's definitely a drop there. But Ammunition, Wolf ammunition is good, steel case, great for target ammunition. Um, this ammunition can, you know, I specifically use Wolf for target ammunition, but, you know, SHTF situation, or even if you wanted to use it because it was cheaper for home defense, you could. We have four boxes, 50 rounds per box for a total of 200 rounds of ammunition that we're adding. So push this over here to the side as well. And next, we have this ammunition right here. This is some Australian Outback 300 Blackout ammunition. It's a 125 grain Sierra Match King HB, uh, HPBT. Let's show you guys here. I've never specifically fired this ammunition. Um, that's the way it comes in the box and the way the box itself looks. But I definitely want to try this ammunition out. Um, I've gotten it a few times. I've just never actually taken it out to test it. Um, and it comes in sealed plastic. Each section contains five rounds as you guys can see. Um, it's hard to see the tips because it's in the plastic. Brass case, of course. Um, for this ammunition here, I could not find, unfortunately, the muzzle velocity or the muzzle energy. Uh, so I would just have to do some testing myself to get those numbers. Um, 
we have 10 boxes of um, 20 rounds each for 200 rounds of ammunition that we are adding to our stockpile for our 300 blackout. Next here we have a case of I got some of my notes there. I have a case of some 12 gauge ammunition. Uh, let's see, we have this is, I've never fired this ammunition before. It's Sterling high quality shotgun shells. Uh, this is produced in Turkey. Um, we have 10 shells per box. We have a total of 10, 15, 20 boxes for a total of 200 shells that we are adding. Um, this is a one ounce slug. One ounce lead slug is what I should say. Um, Never specifically fired them. We'll definitely be testing them out and seeing how they work. Uh, we have a muzzle velocity of 1312 feet per second, and I believe the uh, energy is 1674 foot pounds, but I had to kind of do some calculation. I'm not sure if my calculation is 100% correct, but that's what I, that's the number that I came up with. Uh, but I got a case of this. Again, 200 shells of the 12 gauge that we will be adding. Um, and testing out. Uh, they say this ammunition is good for a big game, hunting as well as self-defense ammunition. And our last box today, we have some federal ammunition here. So we have, so this is Federal, uh, American Eagle, 300 blackout, I believe it's 150 grain full metal jacket ammunition. We have 25 boxes, 20 rounds each for a total of 500 rounds of this ammunition. This ammunition right here has a um, muzzle velocity of 1,900 feet per second and a muzzle energy of 1,202 foot-pounds. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the box here. So you guys can see the ammunition. And it's kind of all falling everywhere in there, but... There's the ammunition. Full metal jacket, 150 grain brass case ammunition. Alright, so when it comes to storing this ammunition, I store the ammunition either in the boxes themselves, and uh, behind me I have a shelf with uh, where I would just stick the ammunition. Um, this area that I have the ammunition in is a climate controlled area for the most part, so that helps with longevity of the ammunition. Uh, but I also store ammunition for a really long term in ammo cans. These ammo cans I actually like and I get them from Midway USA. And we have our 20 cal, right? And our um, 50 cal. I meant to say is uh, 30 cal. I don't know why I said 20 cal. So long, long term, I store these. I like them. Uh, very secure. Uh, you have the rubber gasket along there, and uh, you could put in some absorbent packs if you wanted to, or the ones that you can reuse, and then you open it up and just uh, you know put the ammunition, um, put the new one back in, or however you go about refreshing. 
So for our 45 ammunition here, we have two different ones. Uh, the steel case is definitely going to go into my rain stockpile ammunition. Uh, the Winchester ammunition, I'm probably going to put in my more longer term ammunition. Uh, just because it's brass case, I um, just want to save that one, I think, overall. Our 300 Blackout American Eagle ammunition here. Um, this one will definitely go... This one might actually, I think I'm going to put this one on my ammo shelf, which I will do a video on my ammo shelf at some point. But this one will go there along with the 300 Blackout ammunition here. And the 12 gauge ammunition, this one I consider range slash home defense ammunition here. I'll be splitting that up. Um, some will be going into the ammo cans and then I will put some for my range stockpile um, so that I can just go fire it, test it out, see how it functions and everything within my uh, different shotguns. So when it comes to my ammo stockpiles, Again, I have two. I have my short term slash range, which is my ammunition that I will consistently go through. And then I have my long term storage ammunition, which is I put it away and I don't open it for a long, long, long time unless I truly needed it. So those that's how I store my ammunition. Um, I'll probably do a video sp specifically on good methods of storing it. There's lots of videos out there on YouTube for storing ammunition, which you can check out, but I'll put my two cents in too, as everybody kind of has a different method. Overall, I think all the methods are pretty uh, successful. Ammunition overall has a very good life shelf. Um, as long as you're, you know, you're not shoving it in water and then storing it in the hot place and then dropping in water again I think ammunition almost has an unlimited lifespan um, I've come across ammunition and fired it that was stored just in the bedroom for you know 10 20 years and it operated fine of course you know there's some caveats to that with the ammunition and um, how it's being stored so as long as you know how the ammunition has been stored for long 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 periods of time i'm talking like 10 15 20 plus years uh then it should be fine but overall this is our ammo stock this is our ammo stockpiling video for today we are adding a total of two four um nine um eleven uh, 1250 rounds of ammunition to our stockpile uh, ammo goes quick um, especially once you start getting back out there and shooting going to the range you go to the range once a week and you know your ammo pile just starts going down so if you can get ammunition grab the ammunition prices are definitely coming down uh, the availability of ammunition along with different calibers is also coming back at least from what I'm seeing so if you have the extra cash, grab a box, grab a case, uh, stock up on the ammunition, um, and that will be it for today. If you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And also, if you guys have any suggestions for different types of videos you would like or more in-depth videos you would like, uh, leave those in the comments as well. You guys have a good day.